What's up guys? My name is Mitchell. Welcome to my channel. Today we're installing the EcoFlow alternator charger. Uh, we're installing an extension cable uh, from my battery on my F350 to the back with a quick disconnect right at my rear bumper uh, so that when I mount the alternator charger inside of my truck camper next to my EcoFlow, Delta Pro, and Delta Pro extra battery, um, I'm going to have 800 watts of constant charge up to 800 watts coming from my pickup truck and the excess power generator by my alternator. And it's gonna be a really, really good solution for uh, keeping my lithium ion battery banks topped off while we travel. So stay tuned, enjoy. Quick demo on what we have to install today. We've got the EcoFlow alternator charger. It's an all-in-one kit that's designed to use the overflow amperage and current from my alternator, from my pickup truck, and then route power and charge my battery bank. Um, I was looking at various ways to actually make one of these myself. And by the time I put all the components together and um, got ready to purchase everything, it was about the same price as the turnkey EcoFlow solution anyway, which is designed and built around the Delta Pro platform. So um, very, very happy, very, very excited uh, for this. This is a battery jump box extension cable setup. It's a one gauge wire. It comes in two different pieces. It comes in a quick disconnect, and then it comes with your battery jumper cable box. Um, with a quick disconnect on this end. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these off and then I'm going to install some ring terminals that will go and mount to my battery. I'm then going to use a battery isolator uh, in line so that when my truck camper is hooked up and my truck battery is off, I'm not drawing battery power from my truck battery so that my battery on my truck doesn't die. It only allows power one way. So the isolator protects my truck battery. So I'll have ring terminals to the cable to a battery isolator going out to the bumper of my pickup and then go into this quick disconnect where this quick disconnect here will plug in and then these terminals will go underneath this is where I keep my batteries uh, and uh, EcoFlow Delta Pro inside the truck camper. They'll go underneath, they'll get mounted to these bus bars, and then the EcoFlow will mount to the bus bars as well, installed underneath. So let me show you what I'm working with in there real quick and you'll get a better idea. All right, so here's my EcoFlow Delta Pros. Um, Delta Pro and external battery, uh, 3,600 watts hours, 3,600 watt hours, and they are really, really, really good units. Um, so I've doubled my capacity here on this wall. I'm going to drill a hole through here. Here on this wall, I'm going to mount my EcoFlow um, alternator charger and my bus bar. And right here, right here, is where my rear bumper will be when everything's backed in and, and uh, assembled. So literally this will be mounted and stay there the whole time. And I'll just literally back up, connect, and then connect that quick, quick disconnect charger and everything will be hooked up and ready to go every time I detach. So should be a really good solution and I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited and really, really like how capable these Delta Pro units are, and I'll be excited to see how well they work once they're installed. All right, got the wires run from the back. This is a fuse from EcoFlow that they require be installed in line. So it's going to 
our positive battery terminal and our negative battery terminal. Uh, it says it's an alternator charger, but nothing is actually installed on the alternator. That's over there. It only goes to your battery. Um, and then on the back, I have installed the pins right there for the quick disconnect. I just crank the truck up and uh, positive and negative, and I just hit them with the voltmeter and I'm getting 13 volts uh, to the rear. So I'm getting power all the way to the back. Now we're gonna hook it up and test it out. And as you can see, the, uh, the end, the terminals on this will not fit on my bus bar. So um, I've got some new ends that'll go on my bus bar and then I'll be able to connect everything in the back. So I realized I'm, I'm ready to hook up this just into my Delta Pro. This is my extra battery. And that is what my connection looks like. And those are my connections. This is my extra cable to go to my extra battery. But uh, those are not compatible. So... I think this was from the river series or the smaller series and they sent me the wrong cord. There was no way to differentiate when I checked out. I just ordered the alternator charger and that's what they sent me. So I've reached out to EcoFlow, but right now I'm at a standstill. Well, after a little bit of Google, come to find out EcoFlow has a adapter that they require that you purchase to go from the alternator charger or the smart generator to the Delta Pro. It is $70, and there's very little information online. So shame on you, EcoFlow, for making us buy a $70 adapter without making it crystal clear on your website. But got one ordered, and it'll be here in a couple days. So right now, I'm dead in the water. All right. Took two weeks, but they finally got the adapter that I needed. So here's the bridge that'll go to my extra battery. And this will go to the alternator charger. So I've got the truck camper mounted so I can get everything installed and we'll see how it works. All right, got the Delta Pros and extra battery in, got the adapter in, gonna mount the charger here, gonna drill a hole right there because right there is my connection. So I'm gonna drill it as close as I can. Drill it through there. Got the bit here to get big enough to drill both wires. Gonna drill it in the corner and run them through. All right, so what I just realized is this is just a thin piece of plywood right here. And what I do not want is any penetrations of any screws that are coming back here to scratch my truck or let water in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue a piece of plywood to the wall here, let it sit on the ground, glue it in with uh, the strongest adhesive I got, and then I'll be able to screw into that as a backboard, keep my integrity of my truck camper safe. All right, got everything installed, bus bars wired in, and gonna go ahead and get it connected. Well, got it all installed, verified I got 12 volt to the bus bars, and I'm getting a red light on the charger, and it won't pair with my EcoFlow app or the Delta Pros, so gonna have to call customer support. Not happy. And there she is.
That's with the truck at idle. Got it up to 530, just sitting still in the truck. Green light on. Rocking and rolling. I'm pretty excited. This is absolutely the missing ingredient to keeping us self-sufficient and 100% off-grid while we travel. So excited.